The university was established in 1932 by the Sisters of Providence, the Ursuline Nuns, the Bishop of Great Falls, and civic leaders. And if you think about that, a small blue-collar town on the high plains of Montana, establishing a private university, a private Catholic university, during the early years of the Depression. What an act of hope. Well, I think the sisters heard the invitation to serve. This area did not have a college, and we started as a teaching college for young women. And the sisters saw a need for that, and that's part of their mission, to meet unmet needs. This is very much Great Falls' university, and we're very proud that it was not just the religious, but the lay people who helped build this Catholic university. For us, the invitation to serve means that our students reflect the best of the world around them and in them. And then they take the extra step to go out and serve others. Sister Mary Kay Nealon is a Sister of Providence. She's been on our faculty for a number of years, and she's an important link for us to the Sisters of Providence today. We prepare students for living and for making a living, and then helping to change students' lives and help them explicitly grow physically, emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, socially. The days of students sitting and listening to lectures are past. Students learn differently, and we are trying to focus on how our students learn rather than how traditionally college courses are offered. So we have broad courses. We have something called the Integrated Learning Communities, which take on a big topic taught by two or three professors working as a team. And the focus in those is learning as a team. The core of Discovery is an outside the classroom program. The students are engaged in physical activities such as rafting the Missouri River. But we've also engaged them in the question of their own self-identity or self-awareness. Father Sikor has been here 26 years and most recently he is our Dean of Undergraduate Studies. We have a small faculty student ratio. We are very proud of the individual attention that our faculty give to students. The faculty have basically seen that being at the university is not a job, it's a mission. They have very much taken on what the sisters were talking about, having a mission. I've evolved as a human being through this college because you just feel like you're a part of something bigger. You feel that you can make a difference in the world and that you are going to accomplish it because everybody here is so supportive of you. And I think that's what we're trying to do. We are not trying to simply graduate students. We are trying to personally affect their lives. The University of Great Falls has added a number of athletic programs in recent years. We're very proud of our student athletes and our coaches. We've added women's cheer and dance teams this year. And those young ladies have added so much to our university. So there's a lot of success, a lot of energy, a lot of uh, good vibrations brought to our university by athletics. Sister Mary Trintas Morin was the art professor. Her touch is in virtually every building on campus where she has given us her expression of art. She made most of this art specifically for this campus when it opened in 1960. She left us very early, but she left us with a tremendous amount. I love the fact that Sister Mary Trinitas was a part of this campus, and I treasure what she has given us, not only in, in the, the artifacts, but in the deep significance of the art that she left with us. Knowing each student is very important to me, personally. It's also very important for them to know the president and to know that, that the president knows their names, knows who they are and what they're interested in. 
Knowing that the president is willing to listen to students builds confidence among the student body because they know that he's willing to listen to them, willing to make changes, willing to better the school for them, and he does a really good job just reaching out to students. The University of Great Falls should prepare our students in two ways. We want them to see all the possibilities in life. And we also hope that we have given them the skills to succeed in whatever career they choose. By going through the process of understanding themselves and knowing themselves, they think about things like serving others, about what makes them happy, about faith. These kinds of questions that we help our students develop as a regular part of their life will change their lives. In a sense, the university is also a place of stability. We have endured in many ways for 75 years. We are still a solid place and a place of commitment and a place of learning. The University of Great Falls is a place with solid foundations. We stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. I think we see ourselves as part of that legacy.